just finished up a run. It wasn't that long, but it was steep. My body's kind of tense. I was pushing my limits a little bit. I feel like when you push the limits, you kind of break posture. So, anyways, I'm tight. This is something I do to kind of wind down after I've been tight. You could also do this before a workout. If you're trying to loosen up and you feel, you know, a little tense. All right, so I'll start with the straddle stance. Stretch the hips forward, trying to twist the knees out. I'm just gonna stretch out the hip flexors in the front and the adductors on the inside. Just each side. Now pushing the waist back and keeping a flat back. I'm gonna bend forward. I'm trying to get my waist back as far as I can. The knees are tracking back with it. I'm gonna touch my finger points, finger tips to the ground. From here, I'm gonna bend my knees, but still keeping my waist back. Really, the focus is trying to keep the waist back. The weight is in my heels. I'm gonna reach my hands forward as my hips lower and I can get closer to the ground. Let my head rest down here for a second. All right, now I sink over to one side. Going to the right first. First look over to the left side. And then you're gonna twist, lock this elbow behind the knee, and rotate over. Should be feeling a stretch in the oblique and in the lower back on the left side. Now staying low, if you need to, you can come up, but you get a little bit of a, a lunge or a squat workout if you stay low. Same thing on this side. First twist into the right now that we're lunging to the left. And twist into the left, locking the elbow behind. Try to keep your balance. Locking the elbow, twisting over that knee. Holding this position. Focusing on deep breathing on the exhale and trying to gain just, just a half an inch, just a millimeter, whatever it is. All right, now standing straight up to the middle. I'm gonna take, I'm, I'm staggering my stance because I'm on a bit of a hill here. I want my feet to be at a level stance, but if you're at home, it doesn't matter. All right, same thing, pushing the waist back. My hamstrings are tight and my glutes are tight in the back. So that's really why I'm focusing on pushing the waist back and keeping the flat back. From here, I'm just gonna go through some simple hinges. This isn't really that heavy of a stretch, but this is kind of the, the core hinge motion that unlocks the posterior chain. So I'm not doing this to stretch it out, but I'm doing this to kind of wake up the muscle memory. So when I go into the harder movement, which here is gonna be a staggered stance. If you're feeling up for it, you can do a single leg. Uh, I call it a single leg deadlift, but I know it's called something different in yoga. I'm not a yogi, by the way, I'm just, a personal trainer. All right, holding this position. Try to keep your balance. I'm still going to do so myself. But keeping the back leg up, you're gonna raise the hands, lifting the gaze straight ahead, and then turn the hands over, pulling the shoulders back to the butt, back to the back pockets, like if you had a wallet back there. Again, try to keep that balance, it's hard. A couple breaths. I'm not being a very good example of stability myself, but at least it's authentic. All right, now coming up to the middle. Same thing on this side. If you need to go staggered, you can do this with the back foot as a kickstand. But if you're feeling up for it, lift the back leg, bring the eyes up, open up the chest, pulling the shoulders down to the back pockets, the waist, hands up, palms down, Superman first. Really pull those shoulders back. Slowly turn the hands over and hold this position. I don't know if you can see, but I'm standing on a downhill. The downhill makes it a little bit easier for me because it gets my ankle into a plantar flex position rather than a dorsal flex, which is what I'm showing with my back leg, pulling it toes towards shin. Plantar flex is that way. For me, it's a little easier to balance that way. So if you've got a slant board or a hill near your house, you can experiment with the same. If you want to get more difficult, you can face uphill. All right, and now stand through the middle. All right, that's it. Right, the last one we're gonna do, again, I'm staggering my stance downhill, but so I have level heels. 
We're gonna drop into that hinge. I'll do a couple just to get warmed up and get into it and then also give a couple extra visual reps of what I mean when I say hinge. It's bending at the waist, hips going backwards, knees tracking with it. Now, from here, it's kind of a breathing exercise, but the focus is opening up the chest and pulling the shoulders back, but we are gonna go with the breath. So on an inhale, we're gonna scoop up with the arms and then flexing everything. It's almost like the, the first five or 10% of a backflip. You're gonna flex and raise your hands up the middle. Once your hands turned over, that's when you begin the exhale. That's the exercise. Loading. Exercise. stand up out of that. That's my routine for the day. I'll keep posting these um, if people keep, keep liking them.